Hey guys, I'm Amanda, the Red Witch Bitch, and this is the intro to my channel. This is the first thing that you're going to be seeing. So like I said in my first video, I really got my start on TikTok. That was where everything started for me, and I've been really grateful for that platform. As much as other people kind of hate it, and there, there is a toxic community on there, and I do agree with that. However, it's really helped me in my growth and it's given me the ability to talk about and teach things that I've always wanted to do. I didn't know I wanted to be a teacher until I started getting into my craft and I love it. I love it. I like, I love teaching. And this is what I wanna do with this channel. I want y'all to be able to learn from me. I wanna be able to teach you things, cool things, weird things that you can't find anywhere. I've done years and years and years of research and I've been practicing for a good bit too. I don't talk about anything I don't believe in or I am not knowledgeable about. I'll always encourage you to do your research and to cross-reference everything, even things I say, but with that said, I still do want to be seen as a reputable source for information because I'm not trying to bullshit y'all. I'll tell you how it is and you can take it or leave it. <laughs> One of my main goals with this channel is not just to teach witches, even though that is a primary driving force with this channel, um, but it's also to teach people that you don't have to be a witch to use magic. Everyone can do magic. Everyone. I want to be able to show y'all that magic just... Magic isn't just making a spell bottle and lighting a candle and burning bay leaves and everything like that. I don't... Magic isn't just spell work. Magic is blowing out candles and making a wish. It's making a wish on a shooting star and ladybugs and dandelion puffs. That's magic. Taking a cleansing shower bath after a hard day, that's a ritual bath or shower and that's magic. Taking care of your plants, that's magic. Making a meal for somebody who can't cook for themselves or is out of work or is sick, you put your intentions of love and healing into that food. That's kitchen witchery, that's magic. Anybody can use and do magic. That's what I wanna show y'all. That it's not just, it's not all spell work, it's not all fancy schmancy spells. It's the little things too. <gasps> oh! Persephone! Don't buy cheap candles! Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared me so bad, dude! Fuck, that scared me so bad. Moving on. So as you can see, I work with some deities. <laughs> they can get kind of moody. I'm sorry, Persephone. Um, I work with Hades, Persephone, Cernunos, Hestia, Loki, and my patron is Lucifer. I didn't mean to work with all of them. They just kind of came knocking. And I know that they came knocking for a specific reason. And they helped me a lot in my journey. I don't usually ask their help in spell work, that's usually all me, but if I am doing some heavy duty shit, then I will ask for a lot of help. I've been practicing for, shit, like seven-ish years, eight-ish years, I'm not even sure. I lost count, uh, I'm not really counting anymore. Um, but I've been actively practicing for the last like four or five years. I consider myself an eclectic gray witch. I specialize in baneful magic that wasn't intended, it just kind of happened. Um, and also a little bit of green witchery. I am a psychic medium and a channel. And I started off on the spiritual side of things. Like, you know how people I don't know if you have or not, but I know some people start with like, oh, chakras, and you have to eat healthy, and you have to treat your body good, and I'm gonna be a hippie, and I'm gonna run off into the woods and never come back, and I'm gonna learn about aliens and shit. Like, that's how I started. <laughs> and then I kind of grew out of that, and I got into witchcraft, and I'm like, oh, this makes a lot more sense now. Okay, this makes more sense. <laughs> so I hope you stop and stay a while, stay for a spell, and, See if you can learn anything new. My comments and my DMs are always open if you want to ask any questions or if you want to suggest and tell me what you want to see next. So go ahead and do that. If you haven't already, go and subscribe and drop a like and do whatever. Just show me some love and I'll show you some in return. We're all about love here. Let's spread the love. But yeah, thank you to everyone who has helped me get here and everyone who has supported me on this journey. 
I really appreciate it, and y'all have no idea how much it means to me. So thank you, and I hope you learned something here, and I hope I can teach you something cool and new. So like I said, tell me what you want to see, tell me what you want to know, what kind of spells you want to know, and I'll do my best to post them here. So until next time, I'll see you later, have fun, and as always, happy witching.